Alright, so now we are in Aomori Prefecture. We've arrived at Hachinohe Station. This is my first time in Aomori and I'm so excited to see what they have going on up here. All I know is that the apples are delicious. Hi! Wow, everyone's got a sign that has my name on it. Hi! After a warm welcome at Hachinohe Station, we headed off to Same Station, one of the closest locations to the Tanesashi Coastline Trail. From here, we're heading to Kabushima Shrine, a very unique shrine with very unique inhabitants. This shrine behind me is famous for umineko, and I just found out that umineko is actually a type of bird. But the reason why they're called umineko is because, I don't know if you can hear, but they're, um, their voices sort of sound like crying cats. So we're gonna go up the shrine. There's actually so many, and I heard that if we're lucky, we might even see some newborn chicks. Let's, let's see if we can hear the uh, Umineko's cries. Umineko, also known as black-tailed gulls, are known to be a monogamous species. With this shrine being their choice of nesting spot in the region, people make the pilgrimage here to pray for luck with relationships and meeting their perfect match. But it does come with some risks. Wow! Okay, first of all, the smell is quite uh, strong, so if you are someone who doesn't really uh, like animal smells, this might not be the shrine for you, but I am having so much fun uh, taking photos and looking at nests and eggs and baby chicks and it's really cool if you love animals. <laughs> this only lasts until about August and then they will fly and they will make their way to their next destination. So there are only certain times of the year where you can like, enjoy this type of scenery, this chaos. Uh, I have an umbrella over my head just because you never know when they're going to uh, shit on you. <laughs> if you happen to get dirty while visiting the shrine, well, congratulations! You can visit the shrine maiden and officially certify your luck. No word on whether or not this actually improves your love life, though. I'd like to say we walked the Tanesashi Coastline Trail, but we had too much to see, so we cheated and drove. But it was still a breathtakingly beautiful drive, and our lunch was in the most picturesque restaurant ever. Kofunato Shokudo sits right along the coastline overlooking the blue sea and serves the most generous portions of fresh seafood I've ever seen. The 10 kilometers of coastal trail take you through beaches, fields of wildflowers, grassy meadows, and a camping ground. So if you can take your time to explore this area slowly, you really won't regret it. It's breathtakingly beautiful, especially on a sunny day. And while the rest of Japan tends to get unbearably hot during the summer months, it's still quite comfortable up here and easy to spend time outdoors. では、like these is that for the size of the restaurant they can actually produce an impressive amount of different foods. There's so many really fascinating things on here that I've never seen anywhere else. Where I live in Japan, food stalls are a common sight, but the ones here in Hachinohe are very different from what I'm used to. Again, generous portions of seafood can be enjoyed here, and Kimura-san's favorite dish, senbei-jiru, a type of hot pot with rice crackers, made an appearance here as well. As the city got darker, the streets started to light up as patrons shuffled in and out of tiny restaurants and bars. The city was much more lively than I expected, with lots of rustic charm and plenty of small establishments bursting with personality. Ah, <laughs> And after a wonderful tour with Mr. Kimura, we ended the night with one of his favorite foods, <laughs> you guessed it, another pot of senbei jiru. The 
next morning, we got up early to visit Hachinohe's famous Sunday morning market. This is the largest morning market in Japan with over 300 shops. Only operating from daybreak until about 9 am, this market is popular with locals and tourists alike and serves everything from seafood to pastries to coffee and more. これはあの天然の貝殻が作った笛です僕が開けたんではなくて見つけたはい、海岸でカモメガイっていう貝が開けた穴ですおまいかこれも使えるいいねこれ落ち着きますねで、これがないときはこれですえ、指れる<笑>いいですね、After the morning market, it was time to leave Hachinohe and make our way towards Aomori City. But first, we made our way through the gorgeous Oirase Gorge. With rushing waterfalls, clean rivers, and plenty of greenery, this spot is said to be one of the most beautiful river valleys in all of Japan, especially in autumn when the leaves begin to change color. I can totally see why. Finally, we arrived in Aomori City to a bit of rain, but it was still lovely to visit. We made our way to the Aspanu Observatory to get a view of the city and even saw the floating Hakoda Memorial Ship, which used to ferry passengers between mainland Japan and Hokkaido before the alternative routes were developed. And no visit to Aomori City is complete without a visit to the Nebuta Museum Wanase. These iconic floats are used in the summer festival but can be visited here all year round. Not only are they massive, but they're colorful as well, making this a great photo spot for tourists. So, just like that, our long trip is coming to an end. The station is right behind me. We're about to head back to Tokyo and then I'm flying back to Fukuoka after such a long trip. But our very last stop is the A Factory, which is a massive souvenir shop. Perfect timing for me to get some last minute shopping done before I go home. In the souvenir shop, they've got pin badges、uh, with Tsugaru dialect on them. So, Keiyagu. Honzu nash. But I love this. We got this for our train ride back to Tokyo because it's about three hours long. I wish I recorded a proper outro here, but after five days doing a whirlwind tour through northern Japan, I was exhausted. But if you have made it through this entire series and watched all four videos, thank you very much. If you haven't seen the other videos, you can check the playlist, which is Probably on the screen right now, or you can go back and click whichever video interests you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope that we will see each other again soon. Bye!